Dr. Dardane is going to come up here as a PI for the only intracranial prospective randomized study that was recently published in the New England Journal, and we're very excited to hear from you. Thank you, Alan. So I'm not offended by the mass exodus here. The, uh, I, I, rec I recognize my audience. Uh, a couple quick um, comments, one since I have the podium, just to react to some of those same comments about trials. Uh, trials, uh, Sampras is going to be a good example of it. Trials are very limited uh, in terms of the, we have to control for so many variables. Uh, there are a lot of questions that trials don't answer, and there are a lot of questions that trials raise, but they are the only way that we have for answering some of these major questions that we have, and these issues about medical outcome uh, versus stenting or intervention, they're only going to happen in trials. They're not going to happen in single center uh, experience, and uh, so I'm, 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 that was my main reaction to that. Um, so first, before I, I was thinking about this talk before I got going here uh, for my 10 minutes, I'm going to take, I've got the next 20, so I'm going to take 15 for Sanford's and then five for future directions. But uh, how many people here have, have read uh, are aware of the primary outcome data from Sampras from the New England Journal article by hand. Okay. And then how many here are, are neurointerventionalists or people that do these intracranial procedures, that do intracranial stenting? Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, most of what I have prepared is a deep dive in the complications uh, that we have, and I think I will get into that, but I think I'll try to expand a little bit on the primary outcome results of Sampras, because I think some people here aren't, or at least half of the folks here aren't aware of that. How do I, how do I advance here? Uh, there we go. So disclosures here, um, we have representatives from Stryker here, and we're very grateful for their support of the, the trial in providing the devices uh, and support for third-party monitoring. Uh, this was our executive committee. This trial was led by Mark Simowitz, who's the neurology PI, and Dave Fiorella, office, also here in the audience, he and I were the co-PIs on the neurointerventional side, and also I think our, our interventional safety monitor, Greg Zorsky, is here, as well as many of the site PIs. So this is the deal. This is, uh, you look at this thing and you say, stent, you know. I still look at this and I say stent. You know, this is a uh, focal M1 stenosis, no branches, nice straight segment, uh, 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 nice diameter. If this doesn't say mechanical over medical, I don't, I don't know what does. But the problem is uh, the trial said otherwise. Okay, so this was a, ran Sampras was a randomized trial of medical management uh, versus stenting and medical management. And uh, uh, medical management won. And I'll, I'll go into the data in a little bit. And this was published in September in the, uh, the references uh, in, in the, 